79-53, our final score. Matt Payton here with the head coach, Ginger High Cobb, and the Lady Tigers pick up win number 20. Coach, uh, every year, but year number one, you've hit that 20 you gotta plateau. you got to bring that up, That's Matt. A, Come on. Well, you know, <laughs> I guess it's just to prove the, the longevity, the, the streak there. We, we'll cut you some slack on that first one. That but, first uh, year we had so close. five overtime games, five, and I had so many freshmen. Oh, my gosh. They about drove me nuts that year, but it turned out to be such a great team. And, yeah, we will take that to, to have that uh, other than that first year. But, man, I would have loved, <laughs> loved to have one of those back. Just one more yep. uh, chance there. But here today, uh, Coach, you guys had the trip to Columbia. Cumberland had that extra day off, uh, which always comes in yep. handy at this stage of the season. Down there at their place, that was a knockdown drag out. You were able to kind of grab control of this one fairly early on and, and not look back. Which is odd because, you know, down there we were we were fully loaded other than, than Madison Shepard. Of course, we've not had her the entire season. But uh, we we had a pretty good defensive game plan. We've had to really go through and, and really work and change some things with how we're defending. And I was very pleased. 53 points against a very explosive team today. I'm happy with that. You held them to a season, uh, this match their season low, Lindsay a season low on Thursday and, and you lose some pieces like Bailey right. and Lexi and I know you were worried as much about the defense as the Absolutely. offense at that point yeah. and to be able to do this kind of on the fly that's really really good stuff. The depth and the defense the offense you always feel like you can hopefully find a way but the the two D's there the depth and the defense have hurt us and but we have some people that I feel like are playing super hard and then uh, like we've mentioned before Shyla and Faith have not felt well on top of all that and uh, so to be able to get them back and I feel like Shyla felt her best today and I thought she did a good job out there jumping on uh, those kids defensively. She's quick and she can get back and forth on them. But um, we're getting there, you know, we're, we're figuring out some, some things that work for us and then we've still got to figure out a lot more. Stop me if you've heard this before. Courtney Pritchett, a complete box line today, 15 <laughs> points, 10 rebounds, 6 assists. Uh, she was 4 of 8 shooting, 5 of 5 at the line. Uh, that's not bad for the young lady that, that plays that 4 spot, huh? Yeah, I mean, she's so so important to us. And uh, I'm glad that when I look at the stat sheet, I don't see a 40 by her or Lauren Lee. But uh, Courtney's just... She shoots it well, she's a leader, she passes it well, obviously by the stat sheets. And, and we talk a lot, sometimes what she does doesn't show up on a stat sheet. But um, for, for what she means to our basketball team, it's so much more than, than the numbers that we look at. And she's one of three Lady Tigers that are in the top five in the conference in assists. Yeah. She's a post player, yeah. so pretty, pretty cool stuff there. Uh, you get 14 from Sarah Sutton today. Coach, I know this has been a process, we've talked about it maybe finally she's right. getting there and, it, and it's really a mental thing that confidence yes. she's starting to let it ride a little bit i think she's feeling good yeah she took one late that i was that was it was kind of a heat check on her part and it's nice to see it go through the hoop and you look at that sarah did a decent job on the defensive end it's which where we've hampered her and she moved and she communicated that's what we need from her uh, she was over three at the half from the three-point line so she came out the second second half got a couple and made some baskets made some good moves in the paint and we need that from her. And we also need her to be a, a rebounder because she's very capable of that. Is this one of the best free throw shooting teams you've had? Uh, you look 75% on the season. Today, 20 of 20. You were really good at Lindsay. I think missed mm -hmm. one or two at Lindsay in quite a few attempts. Uh, man, they're pretty locked yeah. in at the free throw line. You can ask me that. Let's let's make a deal. You ask me that at the end of the season. I'll do it. Uh, oh. We did have uh, the the year that we made it to uh, the final the final four. I'm, I'm wanting to say if it's the final four or the final game, but it's one of our, uh, for sure, final four teams. Uh, the entire four or five game tournament, we missed one free throw, I think, in that in that series. We were we were locked in at that national tournament. So I'm not sure that was our numbers wise, our best team, but if you had Emily Fox, Carolina Owen, Madison Clements, yeah. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that might be our better team. <laughs> You certainly would put them up against <laughs> anyone. Uh, still a little ways to go here. You get uh, a day to prepare. You go to Georgetown. Right. Always a fun one when uh, the Tigers and Tigers get together. Yeah. You'll go to Davis Reed Alumni Gym. That's a Georgetown team right. that, that was knocked off. They uh, saw this Cumberland team come back and, mm -hmm. and beat them the other day. And uh, that on Monday going to be a tough one uh, as they try to get healthy. You try to get healthy as well. Sure. And as you know, Jeff Nickel from Shawnee is at Georgetown now. They've got they sure do have the athletes. They're running his style, and uh, I just feel like has played as well as anybody in our league right now. And when, when you take some of these teams and throw them in the national tournament, I think they can definitely make some noise. 
they're just uh, they're deep, they're quick, they're long, and they shoot it extremely well. So we've got our hands full. Case in point, Mid South Conference uh, always crazy, tough to tough to win in this league, especially on the road. Cumberland's hold serve yeah. at home against Thomas mm -hmm. Moore. 87-79, uh, the final big win for Coach Reeves, and yep. that's just life in the Mid-South, right? Yeah, and, and we've got nine teams that are pretty much in consideration for, I'll just throw some little, a uh, couple stats out here. We've got nine teams, I think, right now they're in consideration for that 64-team tournament. Out of those nine teams, 50, of course it's changed today, 58-odd wins out of those, fi I'm sorry, 58 losses. Out of those 58 losses, um, 11 of those are out of conference. And of those 11, I want to say there's six that are in the top 15. So it's pretty brutal when you look at that and when you look at those numbers. And uh, I'm not a big numbers person. Uh, I coach more on field. I'm the old school, I think. But I do look at some of that stuff. And that, to me, is just vol speaks volumes about our league. Coach, congratulations on this one. We'll see you Monday night. Thank you, Matt. Lady Tigers winners here today as they knock off Cumberland University 79-53, the final score.